Education is an investment for a human being which cannot be taken away by anyone, and as such it contributes to the national development. And Zambia is on course to attain quality education in line with the seventh Sustainable Development Goals of number three of quality education and access to all. The Patriotic Front in its manifesto, education is priority as evidenced by an increase of public universities to is supplementing efforts for more quality education to the citizenry. On Thursday, Copperline University signed a memorandum of understanding with Smart Move Zambia offering 60% of scholarships to students and CBC News crew witnessed the signing in ceremony. And Copperline University Vice Chancellor Thomas Banda gave a brief background and relevance of the institution. A registered university with a higher education authority under the Ministry of Education to offer distance, weekend, full time education in Zambia. The university is a Zambian owned institution. Our mission is to provide quality, affordable, higher education to the society. Currently, the school has the following faculties. The School of Business, School of Education, School of Humanities and Social Sciences, School of Law, and School of Postgraduate Studies. Why is the provision of education important? Both on personal and national level, education has been shown to increase economical growth and stability. Education has been proved to improve life on both the individual and national level. That we've put in place to prevent uh, closures by non-compliance. From the onset, setting up a business requires that the business is properly financed. <clears throat> In setting up Copperline University, one of the things that were done is uh, we looked at what financing requirements are required for the university. And those financing requirements have been met. Secondly, we looked at what is it that is required within the Zambian uh, environment for a university to operate. So we have put in place <coughs> measures to ensure that we will not fall in the trap of non-compliance. And hence, we have actually, we are registered with the Higher Education Authority. Speaking of the same event, Smart Move Zambia Executive Director Joseph Kasonde says the university has ensured its compliance with the international educational standards and those set by the Zambian regulators. Emotional difficulties, when we give them the support in terms of their needs, we look at that to be a movement and we call that a smart movement. Whatever works we do in the community, to us, we look at that community as being given a smart uh, support because they are in need. So, speaking from a mental health point of view and with what we have signed here, I know somebody is going to say, but what has Smart Moves Zambia, a mental health NGO, got to do with uh, uh, Copeline University? What about it? Uh, we were looking at uh, the causes of mental illness. They are quite diverse. We have a lot of social challenges that actually culminate into mental illness. You're talking of poverty, unemployment, injustices, maybe you are jailed for nothing gender-based violence, uh, you mentioned it, accidents, quite a lot of you know, fam changing family systems, all those. But then we reached a point where we said, what about education? Can education be able to cause mental illness? And we came to an understanding that, yes, it can. At what stage? We were looking at trigger grades. Education has been proved to improve life on both the individual and national level and help solve the many challenges in the society. For CBC News, I'm Blessed Nawachwawa in Lusaka.